crowding concerns, the Nassau County Jail has so many inmates, it's using these rollout beds to accommodate everyone. Now, the sheriff is asking the county's help. Yeah, sheriff Bill Leeper attributes the county's growth to more arrests. You, you would think growth is good uh, and is good, but uh, for uh, jail purposes, it, it's, it's not so good. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Spicer is joining us live. Ashley, the sheriff says it's not just more inmates that's concerning him. Right, he's concerned because there's more inmates who have mental health problems or medical problems. And right now he's running out of room for places to house them because they have to be separate from general population. Sheriff Bill Leeper has been the top cop in Nassau County since 2013. And since that time, there's been a population boom in the county. Because of that, the sheriff says the jail is feeling some growing pains. You're almost at capacity right now. Our capacity at our jail is uh, 315. Uh, uh, today we have 314, but there's some days we have as much as 340. Our county is growing tremendously. Uh, uh, new subdivisions cropping up, uh, seem like uh, just about every day. Uh, and along with that growth comes issues, uh, more opportunities for crime. Sheriff Leeper wrote this letter to the Nassau County Board of Commissioners back in May to alert them to this problem, hoping they can work together. The sheriff wants to add a new wing because they have such a high number of inmates needing medical or mental health care. They're currently housed in the booking desk area you see here. County's also arresting more women. They have to be separate from the men, so that growth is a problem as well. Uh, female population has gone up tremendously since I've been sheriff. Uh, uh, right after I was sheriff, it was around 20. Now it's up to 85, uh, 90s. Right now, the sheriff's office's best solution is rollout beds, but the fear is those will max out as well. We grow uh, our maximum beds 315. When we have over that, we have to utilize these portable beds. They, they actually call them boats, uh, and they, they're, they're on the floor and uh, put them in areas where uh, you know, people can spread out. It allows us to have more people in there, but then uh, if we we'll get over that population, then we have to look at it put them in other jails and other counties that maybe have the space. Sheriff Leeper says that he plans to speak with the incoming judge for the county about possibly setting an immediate bond. That way, for people coming into the jail, if they can get that bond immediately, they won't have to be sitting in the cell for so long waiting on their first appearance. Ashley Spicer, Channel 4, the local station. Ashley, if the county agrees to build an addition to that current jail, how much would that cost? What do they think? Well, the range is between two to six million dollars, and that would be for another pod, basically, to hold about 128 inmates. Kent? All right, an evolving problem there. Ashley Spicer reporting live for us tonight.